Hello everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the uh, Chicago Blackhawks trading Jeremy Moran to the Columbus Blue Jackets with Tim Erickson. Um, I, I told you about a week ago I saw this trade coming. Just because Moran kind of worn out his welcome in Chicago. Um, you know, no points on the season with the Blackhawks. And, uh, you know, had, you know, been a healthy scratch since I think I believe sometime early in November. And, uh, you know, it's disheartening because I've been a Jeremy Moran fan for a while. I met him over the summer in Boston. He's actually supposed to go on the show. And uh, it just never worked out. Hopefully, he, he works out in Boston in the summer. So hopefully next year we'll get him on. But, um, you know, going a step further. Tim Erickson, I think, is a decent fit with the Blackhawks. You know, he's on his fourth organization since being drafted by the Calgary Flames in 2009. Obviously, didn't sign with them. Signed with the Ra got traded to the Rangers. Signed with New York. Uh, then got traded to Columbus in the Nash trade. And now is, you know, in Chicago. So, by my, by my estimations, that's four teams. Uh, but, you know, and Moran was actually drafted by the Atlanta Thrashers. May they rest in peace. Um, you know, in the, in the Buffalo trade. But... You know, I, I like the fact that Columbus will give Moran a fresh start in the NHL. I think that's what he needs, and I think he'll be, you know, Columbus is so banged up that they can use the help at forward, and, uh, you know, I think Moran will definitely, um, you know, give him that help. And I mean, usually when they trade prospects, they end up in South Florida. You know, Brandon Perry, uh, Dylan Olsen, Jimmy Hayes, um, you know, guys like that. RFC down there, and they're all they're all doing pretty well in um, in, in South Florida, and uh, it's a different Blackhawks team than it was a year ago. Um, you know, obviously Letty's gone, and some of the other guys have, have departed as well. So you know, I, I still like Chicago's chances. They're one of the hottest teams in hockey right now. You know, saw so they did at the Bruins the other night, but um, you know, I, I think they need to look at their organizational development of talent. Are they giving these kids a fair chance in the NHL? And that's a legitimate question to ask. I see no reason why Moran should have been traded. Um, you know, they're gonna go. They're going to salary cap hell this summer with the Kane and Zayas contracts kicking in. Each in excess ten million dollars, which you know you got to do to, to, to keep your stars. But you know, to get a you know young, pretty good NHL player for for that little, and you know he's signed for next year as well to sign a two-year deal this summer. I mean. Is it really worth it? You know, um, that, that I think that falls on the coach and staff, um, you know, giving those guys fair chances. I mean, you know, I've been plugging for Adam Clendenning to get a fair chance. Um, you know, he, he's been up four games a season, two points, and, you know, he's been one of the AHL's best defensemen since signing and leaving Boston University two and a half years ago. So, I mean, uh, there's, a th there's a trend there that I think the front office is doing a fantastic job of drafting and developing this talent, but is the coaching staff utilizing them correctly? And you look at what Jimmy Hayes is doing in South Florida. Um, you know, he, he's having a really good season. He he was a scratch for a while for the Panthers, and he, he's like, I think he's got seven or eight goals. Um, Peary had a really good stretch last year, and, you know, Dylan Olsen doesn't look atrocious. Um, you know, if you're going to be losing guys like Letty and, uh, you know, other good NHL players because of the salary cap, you got to look at, you know, the young players who are stepping up and playing those roles. And the bottom line is, I don't I don't think the coaching staff is doing a good enough job at it. I don't think Quenville's doing a good enough job developing young players. And I, I think it's similar in Boston with Claude Julian, who's really not good with, with young players at all. But... That's neither here nor there. So, you know, we'll see what happens. I, I hope the, uh, hope Moran really lights it up. You know, I've been a fan of him. Nice kid. Um, and hopefully he'll come on this, the power play this summer and we'll talk, um, we'll talk some good things. And, you know, he'll be doing some big time things in Columbus and, uh, you know, showing everyone that he can play and that he belongs in the National Hockey League. Anyway, that's one episode of the power play with CJ on the Columbus Blue Jackets traded for Jeremy Moran and the Columbus, and the, Black Ox acquiring Timmy Erickson. Kind of got that backwards. Stay tuned for more episodes for the season and beyond. Uh, later, guys.